With the release of the original set of Pokemon games, Red and Blue, came an obsessive desire to catch them all. The journey to catch the legendary birds Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres began, as well as the daunting task of conquering Mewtwo at the end of the game. But even after filling the Pokedex and using the Mew glitch to catch the elusive legendary Pokemon, there was still one creature left unobtained. The secret that would become one of the most famous inclusions in Pokemon history. Missing No. Missing No stands for Missing Number, but was abbreviated due to the 10 character limit in the Western Generation 1 games. Missing No is a dual type bird slash normal glitch Pokemon in red and blue versions, and a dual normal slash randomly generated glitch type in yellow version. The obvious anomaly here is that bird type is not an actual type within the game. It was simply a typing that was likely cut later in development and replaced with the flying type. The code however remained in the game. An interesting fact is that the bird type actually functions exactly like normal types when it comes to move effectiveness. So Missing No is basically a dual normal type. Missing No actually has several different forms depending on what method you use to encounter it and which games you have. The most famous is known as the normal form, which looks like a sort of scrambled barcode in the shape of a backwards L. Other forms include a fossilized version of Kabutops or Aerodactyl, a ghost from the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town, or a patch of code is encountered in Pokemon Yellow. Interesting enough, Missing No still appears in the red and blue versions available for download on the 3DS. It can also appear at many different levels, often far over the normal max of 100. While it cannot evolve, Missing No does have the highest base attack of any Pokemon in the game, as well as the lowest base defense. Missing No is such a cool glitch because it can actually be captured by the player, just like any other Pokemon in the game. When captured, the Pokemon will know moves depending on what form was used to catch it. The normal form will usually have three moves slotted, Water Gun twice and Sky Attack. The yellow normal form will have Payday, Bind, and Water Gun. The fossil forms of Missing No are interesting because they will have the move set of the Pokemon that was last assessed by the game, meaning that you could get a Missing No with almost any move set that you would want. So how do you go about encountering and capturing Missing No? The easiest and most famous method is known as the Old Man Glitch. Here's what you do. So first, you talk to the man found in the northern part of Viridian City. You'll need to talk to him and let him teach you how to catch a Pokemon. After his demonstration, you should fly to Cinnabar Island. From there, you need to surf on the eastern coast of the island. The trick is that you need to surf in the area that is touching both the land and the water. If you keep surfing up and down in a spot, you may start to encounter all sorts of Pokemon with strange levels that would not normally appear in the area, including Missing No. There are other methods for encountering Missing No, such as exploiting the time capsule glitch in Generation 2, but the old man glitch is by far the easiest. Explaining the reason behind the Missing No glitch can get very complicated and comes down to a lot of boring code talk, so I'll try to break it down in a very condensed method. It essentially comes down to confusing the game's programming. The game uses variables to refer to specific Pokemon when starting an encounter. Each Pokemon is assigned to a specific number in the index. So when the game gets into a situation where it doesn't know what Pokemon to have peer due to a breakdown in the program, it uses Missing No. The strip of land that we talked about on Cinnabar Island is special in that it is programmed to allow Pokemon to spawn there, but not programmed to know which specific Pokemon. This creates a sort of wormhole of randomness that can be manipulated to cause many different things to appear, including Missing No. The odds of encountering Missing No can be affected by the player's name. This is where the old man glitch comes into play. When the player watches the old man's encounter, you will notice that the game temporarily changes the name slot to old man during the encounter. The game then hangs onto your normal name and stores it where the variables for wild Pokemon are kept. So when you get into the next encounter, the game will grab your normal name and change everything back to normal. The exception to this is when your next encounter happens to be on that strip of land in Cinnabar Island where the game has no specific encounters programmed. This causes the game to grab the player's name when looking for variables to use for a wild Pokemon encounter. This is why you can encounter many different types of Pokemon in this spot. The game generates Pokemon according to the index numbers of the letters in the 3rd, 5th, and 7th slot of your name. As you can see here, you can encounter a Mewtwo and a level 146 Golduck if you choose the preset name Red. Encountering a Missing No has been known to corrupt Hall of Fame data on the user's cartridge, so there is some risk of causing the glitch Pokemon to appear in your game. The first question everyone asks when talking about Missing No is, can I catch it? The answer is, yes. So if you can catch it, what happens? The Pokedex entry for Missing No will only appear if the player has not yet encountered Cubone. Most of the time though, the entry is inaccessible through the actual Pokedex. If you do manage to view the entry for Missing No, the game will use Rhydon's Cry followed by the entry which will be blank. 
Battling when missing no is in your party will cause the player's sprite as well as the player's Pokemon sprites to be scrambled temporarily. If caught in yellow version, missing no will commonly cause stray trainer sprites to appear and walk around on the screen. Also in Pokemon Yellow, if Missing No is captured at a level above 1, it will instantly down level to 1 upon gaining any experience and will stay at level 1 unless given rare candy. No Missing No in any version can evolve or learn any moves through leveling up, although it can learn TM moves. Missing No can be traded from Red and Blue to Yellow as well as to Pokemon Stadium. When viewed in Pokemon Stadium, Missing No will appear as a substitute doll, as well as other various glitch Pokemon. While in Pokemon Stadium 2, Missing No and other glitch Pokemon will show up as Ditto with Transform. If the game is saved via Pokemon Stadium 2, it will then become a Ditto permanently. Missing No has maintained its sense of wonder over time and has carved out its place in Pokemon history. Over the years, it has become one of the most famous Pokemon glitches to this day and is still frequently discussed online. There are still many unanswered questions and theories about this Pokemon that I will get into during other videos such as the theory of the deleted Kangaskhan pre-evolution. But for now, I hope that I have shed some light on the mysterious glitch Pokemon and sparked your interest to find out more. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your way out if you want to see more. We'll see you next time.